Welcome to learning React with me. So far, we have seen uh, basics of React.js. We now know how to create a class-based and functional components, how they differ from each other, and we have seen how to create forms and how to validate them. Also, we understood how React lifecycle works. Now, it's time for us to learn another interesting concept, which is React Router. Before that, let us know how a uh, traditional routing used to work and how react routing is different from the traditional routing to understand this let's go to uh, google i'll show you a simple uh, demonstration here so if you observe uh, we have uh, different links for each uh, language here and when i click on one of them you see that there there is a page load happening so this is happening for all the links here. So what's happening in the background is whenever I click on this link, there is a request sent to the server. The server will respond back on the request and send data back to the browser. And uh, these days we keep hearing a lot of uh, uh, concepts on single page applications. That means whenever we click on something we do not reload the entire page only the components responsible for the click will be requested and loaded onto the browser and hence we do not have the entire page reloaded so that's how a uh, traditional routing was and now the single page application routing is so let's see how we can achieve this in react.js to begin with you will need to install a package called react router dom and to do that you need to use this command npm install or i and just say react router uh, dom and make sure that you uh, download or install uh, this specific version so that you follow the rest of my video and to do that you just need to append react router dom with at the rate 5.3.0 so this should uh, install the package and you will have react router dom in package.json file and to begin with move to index.js and put browser router provided by react router dom and wrap app component with browser router so this will make sure that uh, you can use routing functionality throughout the application and this is done now let's move to app.js and uh, I have created a few components already which are uh, home contact us about and these are simple components which would have just the uh, uh, div stating what component it is for and let's define routes for each of these components and in order to do that we need to import few things from react router dom and that includes a switch and the route and also there is something called redirect from react router dom let's make use of these things and let me just add a simple header here and okay now make use of the switch inside this switch i'm going to define all the uh, routes to each of these components so let's make use of route component which we have already imported from react router dom and there is a property called path this is where we are going to define our paths that would tell us which component to render when this path is browsed by the user and using component property i am telling react that when i browse for slash home go to home component let me define similar routes to other components as well like um, about contact us 
and we have above component and contactors component so now let me my solution is running just do npm start and it will uh, open a browser with this localhost 3000 running and initially we are in the root of this application and none of these paths have been browsed so we are seeing only react routing and now when i say slash home see this this is coming from home component which has a simple text home and when i say about you see about and similarly we have contact us which should take us to the contact us component contact us okay i have a spelling mistake here and it should fix yeah we are in the contact us uh, uh, component okay uh, okay let me type something which we have not defined so it just went back to the home page but uh, a user might want to see a responsive message that when he uh, when he types something which is not related to our application which is not defined in our application he might want to understand that there is no such route so we can do something called uh, uh, there is something called wildcard so if i just tell the uh, path and i can redirect the user to some component when he types a path which is not defined so um, uh, usually you may have a component called the uh, not found .js, which is going to have a simple text not found and we have not found component here and let me just import this component here so now see this when i type something which is not defined in my list of routes it went to the not found page so anything that doesn't match with the routes defined above this wildcard will be navigated to not found and sometimes you may want to redirect the user to home page if he uh, uh, tries to browse uh, something which is not defined in our application in such a case react provides us with another feature called redirect so inside the um, route we just have to define a redirect uh, component which has a property called to and here we will specify the path to which we want to redirect the user i want to redirect the user to home page if he types something uh, uh, which is not defined by me i say something it went back to home page uh, i type some gibberish it is redirected to the home page so that is how redirect works but uh, okay uh, we are uh, manually browsing through these different routes which is obviously not expected so i have created another uh, component called header which has all these uh, uh, routes so in order to define a route uh, in order to define a link usually in html we use anchor tag but a uh, react router dom has provided us with a component called link using which we can define all the links in our application so i have a link uh, this will have a property called to where we specify what this text when clicked should uh, take us to so i have uh, three links here let me just uh, import this just above the header okay now so we have a header here i just added some css to the ul and uh, li uh, you can uh, 
if you want the CSS, you can just pause here and uh, pick this. The, this is for UL, this is for LI, this, uh, uh, the link tag will be internally converted to anchor tag. So if you define style for anchor tag, it will be applied to the link tags. So I have this style here and uh, if I click on home, it is already in home and you won't see any difference. And now when I click on about, it went to about but you don't see any redirection here. Now observe this icon, reload icon when I click on uh, contact us. So I clicked on contact us, the route is updated and the component is rendered but the page is not reloaded. And this is what I meant when I say single page applications. And even if you observe in the solution, we have only one uh, index.html file, which is in the public folder. And this is responsible for rendering all these components which we defined here. And that's we call it as single page application and this is how we define routing in angular i hope you understood this concept and if you have not gone through the basic concepts which we discussed uh, in the uh, before starting react router just go through all my videos and you should be able to create at least a static uh, website you have the links you know how to render the components you know how to render the text here so yeah now if you know how to create a static website so go check out all my videos and don't miss to subscribe thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to interview pro